Here's that battle for fourth now, really starting to heat up. 76, Al Still Turner. There, Scotty. You're clear. Good job. Spotters doing their job again, making sure their driver's car is clear of someone else. We can't have fenders rubbing, cutting tires this late in the race now. There's your leader, 22, Scott Steckley in the Pontiac, number one, Pete Gibbons, all over his rear bumper as they go around the outside of 82, Steve Monroe in the tied Monte Carlo. 43 laps remaining, and you get the feeling, Tim, that uh, it's only a matter of time before Pete Gibbons gets around that 22 car of Scott Steckley after he did not pit earlier to take on a fresh right rear tire. Yeah, Scott's pedaling that thing for all it's worth, and he's got a crew behind him. That's the most important thing. He did not got come a fender off. On you. Drive it hard. Drive it hard. Side by side off a of turn two. Start behind Gibbons. There's a gap behind there if you need it. Number one, Pete Gibbons going right, for the lead. He'll get Good it. Job. Coming off a of turn zero. four. 22, clear, Scott man. Steckley got pinched off by number six, Howie Scannell. That's your lead, Gibbons, this temporary holding, so just stay close to him, bud. Drive your line. And that spotter's doing an excellent job helping Scott drive that car. He needs all the help he can today because he doesn't have enough tire on that car to get the job done. Well, here's the battle going on for 6th, 7th, and 8th. 76, Al Turner has been passed as number 9. Robbie Thompson is up into 5th. But there is your new leader, Pete Gibbons, in the Canadian Tire Chevrolet leads here at Kawartha Speedway. We'll be back. We've got a lead change here at Kawartha Speedway. Don Thompson Jr. is your new leader. Pete Gibbons has a problem. What do you think I did, Yes, right away. Which tire? Right front? Right front. As you can hear, Dave Hearn, crew chief for the number one car, trying to get his Canadian Tire team geared up with a proper tire to go on the right spot of that car. Let's have a look at the Mopar replay, Tim. Yeah, Scott Steckley gets all sideways behind that one car, and the four car sneaks under the whole field here to take over the lead. Don Thompson Jr. goes from third to first. Let's go to Todd Lewis, who's in the Gibbons pit. Pete Gibbons brings the Canadian Tire car along Bid Road. It's the right front tire that's gone down. He had just gone back to take the lead again and looked to be on his way to perhaps his first victory of the season. But guys, another frustrating afternoon for Peter Gibbons. Yeah, how many times have we seen this happen? Your whole day ruined over one tire. There's your new leader, Don Thompson Jr., who started on the pole, came into this race 12 points ahead of DJ Kennington who has struggled here in their battle for the Cascar Championship. Here's the fight for sixth involving the number 60 car of Ron Beauchamp Jr. The Mopar parts intrepid, Mr. Submachine at all. 64, Mark Dilly is slowed in the NTN Bearings Taurus. Yeah, it's a real good. Mark's got the same problem everybody else is having. Flat tire by the looks of it drifted real high. Race leader number four, Don Thompson Jr. Here is the battle now for third between 35, Kevin Dower, number nine, Robbie Thompson, who continues to charge to the front. 35, remember, Dowler did not take on a fresh right rear tire. He's just trying to bring that car home here to the checkered flag. Right now, Dowler sitting there in the third place spot. Remember, he was won two of these races, both on road courses. He won at Sport and he won at the Molson Indy in Toronto. Kevin Dowler out of Sherwood Park, Alberta, running in fifth. And Pat, you know this nine car? They, they've been driving a real heads up race here. They've saved that new right rear tire till the late stages of the race. Didn't need to be up front contending early. Change in third, number nine, Robbie Thompson continues to pour it on. Here is Kevin Dowler off of turn number four with 10 laps remaining. They'll battle back to the line, but Thompson has taken control of that third place spot. Here's Al Turner. He'll go inside of Dowler 35. It's Turner up into fourth. Dowler 35 drops back to fifth. And Al's another one that saved the right rear tire on that car to the late stages and doing a great job of keeping it on the bottom, using the cars on the outside, leaning on them a little bit to get through. 60 car falling right through with them. Here's number nine, Robbie Thompson drifts way up high. Al Turner, number 76, will come underneath to grab the third place spot. 60, Ron Beauchamp Jr. threw in fourth. And number 23, Jeff Lapsovich has got a problem in the fast line, Monte Carlo. Yeah, there's a tire or something down on that 23 car, and Robbie Thompson won't be happy about being taken up out of the groove. Great battle here for third, Turner 76. In the intrepid, number 60, Ron Beauchamp Jr. And here's Pete Gibbons, number one. He's back on pit road. Now when your day goes bad, it goes bad. Looks like they're in for another tire right rear this time. Don Thompson Jr., car number four, had a 12-point lead coming in here to Kawartha Speedway. 
And with the problems that DJ Kennington has had, it looks like he will just add to his lead. 102 starts, 12 wins for Don Thompson Jr., the reigning Cascar Super Series champion. And back up across the line. There you can see the gap back to the second place car of Scott Steckley, number 22. And that battle for third continues between the intrepids of 76 Al Turner in the Blue Street sponsored machine and number 60 Ron Beauchamp Jr. in the Mopar parts. And I think Robbie Thompson will be having fits back here because that 23 car is holding them up and the lap car is right beside him. Tough break for Thompson who may have had uh, one of the fastest cars on the racetrack. But he just got uh, into the outside there of 23. Jeff Lapsovich when he had a problem. Back on board with the uh, 39 car. You can hear him slowing. There's something up with this car. Problems there for Dave Whitlock as he will bring it behind the wall. So Whitlock, who had a pretty good run going now, the challenge for second. Turner will push the blue streak intrepid through on the inside for second. Number 60, Ron Beauchamp Jr. will follow him through into third. And here comes Robbie Thompson in car number nine. He's back in fourth. So Scott Steckley gets shuffled all the way back to fifth. Yeah, no doubt the 22 car has used up all the good that was in that good year of hire. There's Don Thompson Jr., car number four, the home hardware Chevrolet. Off of turn number two, next time around, he's going to get the white last lap flag. He'll move around the 69 of Scott Watkins to put him yet another lap down. Here's DJ Kennington running a lap down and in 10. So he'll get some pretty good points and still have a good shot at the championship going to the final race in Delaware. There's the white flag out. Less than a lap to go for number four, Don Thompson Jr. He won at most for Tim. He's going to try to add the win here at Kawartha. And that car is sounding just as good now as it did on the first lap of this race. Off of turn number four, Don Thompson Jr. brings the home hardware Chevrolet to the line. He is the winner here at Kawartha Speedway. 76, Al Turner to the line in second. 60, Ron Beauchamp. Jr. in third. Welcome back to Kawartha Speedway where Todd Lewis is standing by with Don Thompson Jr. in the Chaco winner circle. Don Thompson Jr. climbing out of the home hardware Chevy and waving that checkered flag in victory this afternoon here in the Kawartha Raceway track at slots. 200. Don Thompson, the extra 50 laps didn't seem to bother you. Nice run this afternoon. Another victory here, Kawartha. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Peter Gibbons had a tough car. Uh, I would have had troubles getting by him if he wouldn't have slipped up. I think he got a flat or something. But uh, Home Hardware Chevy, it run good all day. Uh, great crew, great owner, John Fitzpatrick. And uh, this is one step closer to the championship. Don Thompson Jr. with a victory today, as he mentions, a step closer to the championship. The crew and team owner, John Fitzpatrick, here to celebrate as well, even after his hard hit into turn number one. And he does, in fact, seem fine after that hard hit into the wall. Don Thompson Jr., Turner Beauchamp will be your podium. Robbie Thompson, Mark Dilley round out the top five. There's DJ Kennington, battled back to finish in 10th. He's still in the hunt for the championship. Let's go back to Todd. Al Turner, what a terrific run for the Blue Streak Intrepid. You have a, a season of frustration at times, but uh, a good solid second place finish for you today. Yeah, it sure is, Todd. You know, uh, the Blue Streak Intrepid unloaded off the truck really good today, and uh, guys worked hard all week, and uh, we had a good car last week, and just uh, unfortunately some gremlins picked up and got us, but uh, it's just nice to bring the Blue Streak Intrepid home in second. Congratulations. Well, that'll move Al Turner up in the uh, point standings, where Don Thompson Jr. has a 54-point lead on DJ Kennington going to the final race at Delaware. There's Ron Beauchamp Jr. He's up into eight. He was third here today and is with our Todd Lewis. Ron Beauchamp Jr., boy, nice for you to have a satisfying finish. Good afternoon here at Kawartha. Yeah, the car, the Mopar, Mopar performance at Trepid was, uh, we were ran loaded. It was good in practice. Um, qualifying, we were, I might have messed up a little bit trying too hard, but uh, during the, rate, the, the green flag dropped, the car was awesome and uh, just drove it easy at the beginning. And then